what's going on everybody i'm back with another new podcast glad you're back here with me today because i got more clips on the way and these are all about women that can't get out their own way so i know y'all want to check these out got a few for y'all they're getting shorter and shorter so that means i have to put more into the video which is okay but uh let's get right into it but before we do just make sure you subscribe to the channel go ahead hit that notification bell it lets you know every time i release a video don't forget to comment i'd like to know what you guys think and show a little love to the like button but let's get into it would you guys rather date a guy who's a virgin or a player? A player. Player. Probably player. Player? Yeah, player. <laughs> player. 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 I'm not dating dudes, so it's fine. <laughs> Why would you guys say that? I feel like if I would date a guy, I'd want like, to be a good experience. If it's a virgin, I feel like I'd have to teach him stuff. Not down for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I agree. Like, I'd like someone to know what they're doing before they see me. Yeah, I feel like it's all about experience and just knowing what you're doing. Yeah, we like a seasoned boy. And this is why women end up getting played because of their own choices when it comes to men. But later down the line, they'll get on the Internet and say, I just got played again. It's the ones that you choose because you they were presented the option. Do you want a player or do you want a virgin? And anybody with some common sense knows that one of these guys is more likely to be faithful to you. And one of these guys is more likely to cheat on you. And they chose the one that's more likely to cheat. And I'm confident that if you gave these two options to men, a virgin or a hoe men would pick the virgin because they see the long-term implications of being with a woman who's promiscuous if those are your choices in men if that's who you would rather pick and you like a guy that other women like and you like the fact that he can attract other women why is fidelity on the table then if that's something that's attractive to you, then why should a man settle down and just be with you if you're taking away something that makes him attractive to you? Just a question you can answer in the comment section, but we're going to keep going. $24,979.22, your total indebtedness. If I give you this check to hit the reset button and start over. I would go to school. You would go to school. Mm-hmm. Because that would get you out of debt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Phil did the right thing here. Clearly, that money was not going to go to the right place if she used it to go to school. Because clearly, she can't think about the fact that, hmm, I have everything I need to get myself out of debt, but I'm going to take that money and invest it into something else doesn't make any sense it's because you got sold a dream that having an education is somehow a part of being a successful adult yes it helps but you can do that in other ways like uh taking the money for the amount that you're in debt and getting yourself back even i don't know maybe that's just me is it disrespectful if your boyfriend likes other girls bikini pictures yeah of course yeah yeah disrespectful yeah. totally disrespectful okay do you post bikini pictures oh yeah of course is, is that not disrespectful to him? Is that not disrespectful to him? Um, uh, wait, no. Why no. is it? Why no. not? No, 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 no it's not. Why? <laughs> Listen, it's just different. What do you mean it's different? It's just different. Okay. Wait, I'm, I'm female and he's male, so it's different. Because I'm a woman and he's a man, so it's different. I'm so sorry. Wow, the double standard is real. So you can post pictures of yourself in bikinis for literally men all over the world to like, admire, and fantasize. But your boyfriend liking a few pictures on Instagram is disrespectful to you. Now, make no mistake about it. When he explained how that's disrespectful, she understood. She just didn't want to give up that position because she likes the attention. She likes the validation that she receives online. And she's not going to let go of that. Kanye was right when he said, Instagram got your bitch. Mm -hmm. Instagram got your bitch. Because right now, that's who has her. And from his passive tendencies and mannerisms, you can tell that he's the type that 
allows that. Even if he doesn't approve of it, he's not going to rock the boat. He's going to let her do what she wants. And um, eventually she's going to get tired of that and move on to the man that she really wants to be with. But we'll see how that turns out. I want to make sure my cookie is memorable when they come back. This item that you keep putting this price tag on, I'm going to make it memorable. Let me tell you something we all sit around and talk about. It's all the same. I don't care if you do monkey tricks with it. Until a man is emotionally attached to you, it ain't no different than the rest of them. Now, sometimes Steve is doing some BS, but right here he is hitting the mark because until a man is emotionally invested in you, he's not going to think of you any differently than other women. Like, yeah, you might have some different tricks that he's never seen before, but eventually that wears off too. And after that, that's where the game comes in. That's where you have to have some skill when it comes to keeping a man and the things that will keep a man and get him emotionally invested are things that are going to bring value to his life. A woman that's feminine, a woman that's cooperative, that he can get along with, that brings peace to him. Those are things that add value to his life. Then he becomes emotionally invested in you because he doesn't want to lose value. That's not something that men are trained to do to lose value out of our lives. Now you've got his emotions. And I think this is why a lot of women have a hard time finding men that are emotionally available. And it's not that they're not emotionally available. It's that they're most emotionally unavailable to you because you haven't figured out how to get those emotions out of him. Isn't this what we were just talking about in the first clip? Women in their own choices and men. You see, she had the opportunity to pick from a bunch of different guys. But one was into bird watching, one was into cars and stuff that had absolutely nothing to do with the relationship, just little things that you didn't like. And now you're in therapy spending $6,000 because you couldn't pick a man. It, it, it's really not that hard. And that's why it's hard to have too much sympathy in these situations when you're a victim of your own choices. And then now somebody's supposed to feel some kind of sorrow for you because you're on TikTok crying. Sorry, it doesn't work like that. Choose better in the beginning. There are plenty of good men available. You do not have to just pick the guy that is speaking to uh, whatever is inside of you from a biological or a psychological perspective. Uh, pick a guy that, 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 that you know is going to be there for what you actually want out of a marriage. You say you want it, so pick it. But that's going to do it. So subscribe to the channel like the video and if you have anything to say please leave it in the comments below and until another time i'll see you guys later